electric currents and its effects heating effect of electric current how do you get the wrinkles off your clothes at home with an electric iron you plug the iron into an electric socket and turn the switch on electricity starts flowing through the iron and the iron heats up if a light bulb has been switched on for some time it heats up and you cannot touch it you have to switch it off and let it cool down as it has warmed up while it was turned on and the electricity was flowing through it what about hot plates they heat up when electricity passes through them and we can cook food on them your laptop is warmer when it is switched on too what happens in all these cases electricity heats up the material that it flows through this is called the heating effect of electric current sometimes we don't want electricity to heat things up for example in devices like the tv or the laptop or the fan so we try to design these devices in such a way that they will stay cool why don't we want them to heat up because it wastes energy and the device doesn't work that well when it heats up either but in some appliances we actually want electricity to heat things up here we design the device differently usually there is a metal coil and that heats up quickly when electricity passes through it you may have seen this in a water heater or even in toasters the coil is called the element the element becomes red hot when it is switched on how hot the element can become depends on the material of the element the length and the thickness of the coil so coils of different devices are designed differently where is the coil in an electric iron it is hidden behind the panel all devices that heat up have to have the element if you can't see it directly it's hidden inside the device but it's always there how does an electric bulb light up well there are two kinds of bulbs around these days there are the incandescent bulbs and the cfls in an incandescent electric current runs through a wire filament and heats the filament until it starts to glow cfls produce light differently than incandescent bulbs In a CFL an electric current is driven through a tube containing special gases This generates invisible ultraviolet light that makes the special coating on the inside of the tube emit visible light CFLs need a little more energy when they are first turned on but once the electricity starts moving CFLs use about 70% less energy than incandescent bulbs. This entire process typically takes 30 seconds to 3 minutes to complete, which is why CFLs take longer than other lights to become fully lit. Have you heard people talking about a fuse being blown off or having surge protectors installed in their house? It is a small device that we all have in our houses to protect our devices from being blown out in case there is a sudden increase in the amount of electricity coming in our house. A fuse works on the heating effect of electric current. It is basically a thin wire made of a special material that has a low melting point. it is placed somewhere in the circuit before the main device so all the electricity that goes to the main device travels through the fuse wire first 
as long as the normal amount of electricity is passing through, all is well and the main device like your TV receives electricity and works. Suddenly, if too much electricity comes through, the fuse wire heats up and melts down. When it melts, the circuit is broken. Then, the electricity does not reach the main device like your TV and the TV stops working. Believe me, that's a great thing. Because if that extra electricity that came in suddenly had gone into the TV, it would have broken the TV and you would have to spend a lot of money to get a new one. But with the melted fuse, the TV is saved and all you have to do is replace the fuse, which is really cheap and quick. And it's not just that. Too much current can even start a fire. If two wires that are carrying electricity touch each other, then it's a problem. Normally, we have good insulation on the wires, but if the insulation has worn out and these metal wires come in direct contact with each other, then a whole lot of electricity flows through them suddenly. That heats them up a lot. This is called a short circuit. Sparks fly and it can cause a fire. Even when too many things are connected to a single socket, it can overload the circuit and cause a similar problem. You'll be studying more about these things when you're older, but you know that fires are no good. So, fuses are our superheroes who save us from these sudden power surges and the accidents that can happen. Fuses that we use in the house look different from the ones that we use in electric devices. But remember, you are not to touch anything that is connected to the main power supply. You can ask your parents to take you to a repair shop and ask the repairman to show you fuses that have burned out. These days, we use MCBs instead of fuses. You may have seen them. MCB stands for Miniature Circuit Breaker. They do the same job as fuses. When the current is more than the limit, they turn off and break the circuit. They do not have to be replaced. They can just be reset. So, they are much more convenient than a fuse. Do you have MCBs of fuses in your house and school? What did we just learn? When an electric current flows through a wire, the wire gets heated. It is the heating effect of current. This effect has many applications. Wires made from special materials melt quickly and break when large electric currents are passed through them. These materials are used for making electric fuses which prevent fires and damage to the electric appliances.